Welcome to my book nook. Welcome to my book nook. And today, I I've, have not read this book before, and so we are going to experience it together for the first time. I love the title of it. It's called The Book of Awesome. How could it not be, well, awesome? It's by Mil, Neil Pashrika, and I've listened to a TED Talk of his that I thought was pretty amazing. And so certainly his book must be great. So what do you say we dive in together? The Book of Awesome. So what's this all about? Polar ice caps are melting, hurricanes swirl in the seas, wars are heating up around the world, and the job market is in a deep freeze. Whoa. It's getting pretty ugly out there. That's why one chilly spring night I started a tiny website called 1000 Awesome Things. For a boring guy with a 9 to 5 job, it became a getaway from my everyday. I never imagined that writing about finding money in your old coat pocket, the smell of gasoline, or watching the prices right when you're home you're at home sick would amount to anything. Honestly, when I started the site, I got excited when my mom forwarded it to my dad and the traffic and the traffic doubled. Got it? Two people. Then I got excited when friends sent it to friends and strangers started sending me suggestions. Like when cashiers open up new checkout lanes at the grocery store, the smell of rain on a hot sidewalk, waking up and realizing it's Saturday. It seems like maybe these tiny little moments make an awesome difference in many of our rushed, jam-packed lives. Maybe we all love snow days, peeling an orange in one shot and popping bubble wrap. Maybe we're basically all the same. Over the past year, the website grew into a warm place where people around the world came to curl up under a blanket and think about the small joys we often overlook. With so much sad news and bad news pouring down upon us, it's fun to stop for a minute and share a universal high five with the rest of humanity. What started on a whim has changed me for the better too. Now when I get the thank you wave while merging, hear the crack of ice cubes in my drink, or move clothes from the washer to the dryer without dropping anything, I just smile and enjoy the moment. So that's the story so far. That's how we got from there to here. And now it's time to come on in. The fire's crackling and there's a seat on the couch here. Cuddle up and let's all get into it. Let's all get onto it. And let's all get a little bit awesome. The other side of the pillow. Have you ever found yourself lying in bed wide awake in the middle of the night? You know how it is, clocks clicking past 1.30 a.m. and you lie there with your eyes bugged open, chewing your upper lip, tapping the sheets with your fingers, completely frustrated. Your pupils have long adjusted to the dark, so your eyes are darting around the room over and over, trying to identify dark shapes or watching the moonlight shadow dance around the walls. Maybe your thoughts won't settle down. You just can't get comfortable. You ate spicy food before bed. You have a presentation the next morning. Or maybe it's just the frustration itself keeping you in a terrible, never-ending cycle of sleeplessness. So you play dead and try to remain motionless as long as possible. You change positions back and forth, side to side, left to right. You get up and go to the bathroom or start reading a book. Maybe you try to remake the bed, since by now you've probably managed to twist your sheets and blankets into a completely unusable, tightly wound knot pile, barely covering your legs. I've had nights like this. <laughs> On nights like this, when you just can't sleep, one of the greatest things invented is simply turning over the pillow. Yes. Flipping over the pillow and checking on the other side cranks bed comfort up a few notches and is a simple and easy way to help you relax and get comfy. The other side of the pillow, folks, because it's flat when you're sagging, fresh when you're stale, and cold when you're hot, baby. Awesome. Oh my gosh, we are going to love this book. So... It looks like instead of chapters, it's just things that 
are awesome that maybe we don't take the time to enjoy. So let's read a couple more. When cashiers open up new checkout lanes at the grocery store. Though I hate to admit it, I'm a slow and decisive mess in the grocery store checkout lane. Since I'm an extremely cheap person, I watch the prices scroll up on screen like a hawk, often saying things like, oh, I thought that was on sale, or actually, I don't really want that anymore, forcing the cashier to call in price checks to the unresponsive produce department, or find a temporary home for the pack of melting fudge sickles I've decided to leave off my last minute list. And because I'm watching the screen so closely, I start bagging my groceries laid, fumble with my wallet, and awkwardly leave my shopping cart blocking the lane like a metal crisscrossed castle knight enforcing a firm thou shalt not pass law in its trademark silence. Yes, I clog up the line and annoy everybody behind me. I'm one of four people you don't want to stand behind in the grocery line, together with the fidgety grandma who on cue dumps a pile of warm nickels on the counter to pay and then slowly counts them out by sliding them across the counter with her index finger. The flyer guy who hands the cashier a dog-eared flyer from home forcing her to manually tear out all the coupons while everybody waits. Or no math jack who sneaks in piles of extra items into the express lane and acts like it's no big deal. Those tense, winding checkout lanes can be a pretty rough go sometimes. It's not easy out there. You have to watch the anxiety levels, take deep breaths, keep that blood pressure in check. That's why there are a few things better than a sprightly new cashier hopping onto the scene, grabbing the next lane please sign from the end of the belt, flicking on the light bulbs above her station and offering a loud beaming, next customer please, to the scowling, stressed out masses. When that cashier bulb goes on, a bright warm glow showers down on everybody waiting. People like me feel less guilty about holding up the line, and folks at the end win the big front of the line jackpot. Yes, it's one giant mood swing, one massive swelling of goodwill, complete with buzzing chatter, a few laughs, and even the occasional crinkly plastic sound of a tightly wound frown turning upside down. Awesome. <laughs> wearing underwear out of the dryer. Now tell me, is there anything quite so nice as wrapping yourself up in a pair of steaming skivvies just out of the dryer? It's like skinny dipping in a hot tub, jumping on a horse that's been in the sun all day, and lying on a warm sandy beach combined. Sure, the moment doesn't last long. Yes, there may be some static cling, and it's true. You'll have to get changed really quickly in the laundry room to pull it off, but dang girl, Hot undies. They is fine. <laughs> awesome. I think we're going to love this book. Already I'm in love with it. It's my kind of book. I love to look for the little wins in everything. The, the silver lining in every cloud. The ray of sunshine that everyone needs. Please leave a comment about what your awesome is for the day. And join me next time. These will probably be short, but we're going to get through this and enjoy every moment. Have a beautiful day.